White fronting, also known as whitewashing or white passing, is a term used to describe a phenomenon where individuals from non-white or racially diverse backgrounds present themselves or are perceived as white, often concealing their actual racial or ethnic heritage. This can occur due to various factors, including physical appearance, cultural assimilation, or societal pressures to conform to white norms. White fronting can have complex implications for identity, social dynamics, and issues of race and privilege. The concept of white fronting is particularly prevalent in societies where white individuals are considered the dominant racial or ethnic group, and there may be historical or systemic advantages associated with being perceived as white. In such environments, individuals may feel compelled to assimilate into white culture to gain social acceptance, access to opportunities, or protection from discrimination and prejudice. Physical appearance plays a significant role in white fronting. Some individuals from racially diverse backgrounds may possess features that align more closely with white norms, making it easier for them to pass as white in certain situations. Additionally, factors such as skin color, facial features, and hair texture can influence how a person is perceived and treated by others. Cultural assimilation and upbringing also contribute to white fronting. People from racially diverse backgrounds who have been raised in predominantly white communities or have adopted white cultural practices may find themselves identifying more with white culture and mannerisms. This process of acculturation can lead to a disconnection from one's racial or ethnic heritage. The motivations behind white fronting can vary among individuals. Some may consciously choose to present themselves as white to navigate certain spaces or social circles with ease, while others might do so involuntarily due to the pressure to conform to societal norms. For some, the desire to avoid racial discrimination and bias may be a driving factor. White fronting can have both positive and negative effects on individuals and society. On one hand, it may provide individuals with certain privileges and opportunities not available to those who are visibly racialized. However, it can also lead to a loss of cultural identity and a sense of alienation from one's authentic heritage. Furthermore, white fronting can contribute to perpetuating stereotypes and erasing the experiences of racially diverse communities. Addressing white fronting requires acknowledging and challenging the underlying societal structures that incentivize or necessitate such behavior. Encouraging multiculturalism, promoting diversity, and actively combating racism and discrimination can create a more inclusive environment where individuals feel empowered to embrace and celebrate their racial and ethnic identities. In conclusion, white fronting refers to the act of individuals from non-white or racially diverse backgrounds presenting themselves or being perceived as white, often due to physical appearance, cultural assimilation, or societal pressures. This complex phenomenon raises important questions about identity, privilege, and the impact of racial norms on individuals and society as a whole. By fostering an environment that values diversity and inclusivity, we can move towards a more equitable and understanding society.